Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick flip through of Carol's Easter journal. Now Carol, I will tie some sari silk around it um, as well. It's um, quite a fat book, um, but the spine is not that deep. So I did one fat signature um, and the book is pretty old. I'll tell you the age when we get inside, I think. Oh, I think it was late 1800s, but I love the cover. Really like that color put some antique lace um, as I said one signature sewn into the spine and then I've had a bit of fun with the cover so this is a big flip here that gorgeous bunny attached and some of the ruffle there and then it flips out and you could write something there or decorate it if you want to with um, some tea dyed paper and then there's this gorgeous real um, postcard someone scribbled on the back of it one euro um, 68 1968 these i haven't scanned any of these because i'm not they don't have copyright written on the back let me see no it doesn't say anything but um i'm, ne I'm never sure about those so i don't scan those ones um and then there's this gorgeous old postcard and i really like that actually how that turned out i put a um the pocket there and i like those these are the stamps that we used to when i used to write letters to mum and dad in the 90s there were the stamps that we got I remember those so they're in lira and then it's a pocket inside and i made a big journaling card out of one of the papers so that's the cover i had a bit of fun with the cover didn't wanted to do something different for easter and then there's a lot in here okay so um i used a stamperia paper there's as i said only one signature um this I did this on video, but I haven't um, published it yet. So, well, I'll publish this after anyway. Um, so I did one of um, Tina's uh, flippity jippity pockets here. There's a tag in there, one of Lulu's with some straw paper. A um, bit of collage on here, the paper and then the bunny and then the label. And then it opens out like this and you've got some more paper there, some places to write here. And then I just decorated with that. So you could write on there. You could put a photograph on there. You could put a label on there. And that's that's the only lumpy bit. That's where the, this goes. And I reinforced it with some washi tape. So you'll see that when you see the video of me making that. And then I put one of my fussy cuts here. Um, I just liked it. It was very simple, but I liked that on there. Some of my ruffle there. And then um, this was actually... One of my um, first, when I first did the um, Easter papers, it was like a first trial printout. And then I didn't actually like the paper as a whole, but I really like that. So I put that there. Then this is one of the papers from the kit. Hopefully I'm on screen. And I was stuck those little fussy cut um, chicks there. This is a pocket that I made. I think I did that on video. And then there's a Lulu tag. It's the same tag, but smaller as the other one in the front. And then... A journaling card, one of Steph's journaling cards that he did on some straw paper. This is one of those Reader's Digests. I've got the three volume one. Quite like those. And then on the other side, I put some of the paper just to decorate it. And then here is a pocket. I told you there's a lot in here. Love that. Love all those colours like that. And then um, I think I made that tag on video and that's from my kit as well with some tea dyed paper on the back. One of my um, embroidered postcards. They're, they're quite expensive, those, to buy, but they are lovely. Um, and then I put the bunny there. And this is um, this is actually a front page of one of my old books. And it's very thick and very textural. It's really nice. Um, just put a little strip of uh, paper there. Um, this is a pocket, a uh, big page pocket that I made. And then some tags there. Then here is some of my... Um, Easter kit and then this is super old book page from the early 1800s. I didn't put anything on there You could do some collaging on there if you want Carol. It's very it's quite thin But I think it's okay, but I just didn't want I don't like to put anything too heavy if it's thin And then here I put this tuck that I made in the video a little journaling card there And I love this this one. It's got those but those chicks on there again I absolutely love those I put them everywhere and then this is the flip that I made I made that on the video and um, that is a journaling card. And so that tucks in there. You've just got to open it and in it goes. I like him to peek out. And then, oh, this is one of my antique books here. 
and then that's um, the Reader's Digest and then another tag there, collage paper. And then here we've got another pocket and two tags and they've got, one's got old book page, the other one's got tea dyed paper. And then I just put that little piece there. I like the colors all working together and you could continue on there if you'd like to. And then I put some ruffle here and then I just added that there because I like the colors. And then that's that flip corner sort of one that I did that has a pocket and then that gorgeous tag there. So that's in there, I like that. And then um, some more Reader's Digest there. Then I put on the right written, um, you know, the typed page, I put some more of my kit there. Um, that's the scanned tea dyed paper. And then here I put a, a side tuck and then this is the journaling, little journaling spot there to play with. And then here is another pocket. See, there's lots of pockets and things, so there's lots of tags. So to tag and a journaling card. Again, the super old book page, I love that. Um, embroidery, another old book page. This is the other part of that um, other book page that I showed you there, the thick one. And so I put that there, I like those colors. And then you've got this flip here. So this is just a flip. And then it's got the pocket at the front. I like those. They're a bit of fun. And recycled green grid paper on the back. And then here we've got another side tuck. That's the Makey stamp and a journaling card. And that's on made on the Carol um, collage, Carol Laws collage paper. And then this is another pocket. I love that pocket there, how that turned out. I think I did a video of that. And some journaling cards, a tag journaling card, whatever. Um, another ruffle there. Another pocket here. Pockets full of pockets. Here's that big long. I, in the end, I didn't put a big long thing there. I forgot. So I just put it in the pocket. There's a journaling card there. And that's the back. And then another pocket. I don't normally do so many pockets. But there's another pocket. And tags. And then here I put this um, as a side tuck and I put that little cute little journaling card in there. I love that. And then here we've got two tags. Maybe I'll put that, like I could put that tag there would be better and then that one. So some of the, the bunnies might, they're kind of similar or they repeat, but it's just because I love them. I have to put them everywhere and those two can go in there, you see? There we go. So that is Carol's journal. So I hope you like it, Carol. And um, I will see you all again soon. Bye.